Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery with Microsoft Flight Simulator or for Micro Microsoft Flight Simulator using free re resources. Most of us in our scenery creation we're working on buildings and things. And sometimes it's really helpful to have some kind of reference in the background. I do a lot of archaeological stuff, so I use archaeologist drawings to create my buildings and things. And <clears throat> I like to work in the 2D for doing planning so I can get the shape of the building. I think most of us understand that, okay? I want to show you that there are some tools in Blender some add-ons in Blender that can be used for doing basic CAD stuff without having to spend any money. There is an add-on, costs like seven dollars, it's called Construction Lines that you can purchase that does some CAD kind of abilities. But I'm going to show you that there's tools in Blender that you don't have to buy that come with Blender that you can use to to achieve the same results okay now again I'm live and so I'm gonna pause every once in a while to catch my breath all right so bear with me so the first thing that I did was I'm, I set up a, a drawing and I did a shift a to bring in an image a reference image Then I went to my directory where I have my prototypes and I selected the drawing that I wanted to use my reference. In this case, the Minkari uh, Pyramid Temple PNG. So I'll cancel that since I already have it in. Okay. I am in top down mode, by the way. You, everybody knows when you come into Blender, you're in a 3D view like this. All right. But I want a top down because I'm going to be working with the XY coordinates in a two-dimensional space to do my planning right to get to the top down just simply hit the tilde and the T for top and that gives you the top down view all right now we need to add, we need to turn on a, a couple add-ons all right and these come with blender they just have to be turned on so go to edit go to preferences and on the first one, I know it's not here. Um, there you go. All right. For the first one, now I have a whole bunch of them already turned on, um, but I'm going to show you how to get them. The first add-on is called Extra. Extra uh, Objects. So type in Extra, and you'll get these two extra objects, one for curves, one for meshes. Go ahead and check mark those to enable them. Now what that gives you is if we did a shift A just like you're adding in an object in Blender if you go to mesh you'll notice now you have single vertice, round cube, torus objects, you have some gears, you have pipe joints, you have diamonds and you have extra shapes that you can add in without having to try to draw them. Okay. For this particular exercise, I want you to keep in mind the mesh single vertice. All right. Now, if I add in a single vertice, it automatically goes into edit mode with vertex mode turned on. And if you notice that it added a vertex where our 3D cursor is. Now, if I wanted to draw this outline of this building. I won't do the whole thing. I'll just do part of it, okay? Okay, but if I wanted to draw the outline of this building and I'm going to assume that these these lines, even though they really aren't perfectly east, west, north, south, I'm going to pretend that they are, okay? I'm going to take this vertice that I just added and I'm going to move that to a starting point down here on this uh, southeast corner okay now with those extra 
with those extra objects tool toolkit enabled you can edit and work with vertices as a separate object and if you know any other object in blender you can extrude them yes you can extrude a vertex and basically what that does is I'll show you an example <coughs> is if I hit E for extrude you notice I get this rubber band line and then with my second vertice on top of it right so I can click boom and it automatically puts that second vertice here's our first one down here puts our second vertice in there but automatically adds the edge between the two so we have a line so let's turn off our drawing here you notice we now have a line okay so let's turn our drawing on and I can E again and go in this direction put our line there okay turn off our drawing so you can see that so now we have a line going this way and this way and you can build a perimeter of an object okay so let's turn our drawing on and use the E again come up here to this corner E over here to this corner okay so it you can make make your perimeter of your drawing go all the way around by extruding these vertex vertex vertices in certain directions now just like in any other tool you can actually snap to a working vertex uh, axis okay so I was doing these I put these vertices right here these four vertices I just did free floating okay so I'm going to delete those and show you that you can go straight up straight east and west straight north and south all right so let's select this vertice extrude like we did before except I want to go in the y direction and it will make sure that it's 90 degrees off of our beginning okay and I place it here if I go EX I can make a 90 degree angle off of that one and then EY and then EX so now those those vertices that I added are 90 degree they're right angles from each other right okay so that's one way all right so if I wanted to continue doing the perimeter of the object that I'm drawing in this case a building footprint okay I can continue now I won't do the whole building I'll just uh, make a shortcut here so we're going to extrude in the y direction come up to this corner extrude in the x direction come over here extrude in the y come back down here and then that's where we that's where we end except notice that we don't have an ending line right okay to get an ending line you just select the last two vertices and hit F and then that closes that polygon right now let's say that you wanted more precision in the dimension okay so let's uh, control Z whoops I gotta select that control Z get rid of that okay and control Z to get rid of our previous node so we come back up here all right so we need to we want these we want this new vertice that we're gonna add to be the same uh, cor the same Y coordinate as our beginning we want a straight line coming across here right well one way of doing that is to turn on your snapping to vertice okay and you can select oh turn on okay I just told it to select vertice uh, vertice snap now I want to activate it by turning on the magnet all right so if I select that vertice which I do and hit E Y okay if I slide my cursor over to the beginning 
it will be on the same plane as our beginning vertice. And then I can select those two and hit F and now we have a straight line coming across. They're exact, these two vertices are the exact same Y plane, okay? The other way of doing that, so let's uh, come over here and control Z, get rid of that one, and get rid of that one, all right? With our snap on, come down here to the measure and select this vertice, whoops, let me uh, delete that. Select this vertice, hold in your mouse, and snap to this one. Okay, so we're 54.5448 meters. Right there, 54.5448 meters between this and this. So we can come over to this, go back into this mode here, select that vertice, hit E, Y, and then type in 54, whoops, I'm going in the opposite direction. Uh, select that vertice, do an E, and this is going, it's going down, so it's negative. Let me try this again here, make sure my brain is keeping up with my fingers. All right, so let me control Z here for a second. All right, so select our vertice, hit E. We're going to go in the Y direction, so E, Y, and we're going to go minus 54.5448. And now these two vertices are straight across from each other because this distance is equal to this distance. So when you're extruding vertices, you can follow the dimension based off of uh, uh, units of measure, okay? So now I'm not gonna close these two for right now, I'm just gonna show you. So we can go E, X to go in the X direction. And let's say I wanted to put a vertice 15 meters away from this one here. So I go E, X, 15, and now these two vertices are 15 meters uh, from each other so a little bit more precise measuring okay now I'm going to show you another way to add in uh, ver vertices and that is using what they call precision drawing tools and that's an add-on free add-on for blender so go to edit preferences when this menu comes up type in drawing and you'll notice precision drawing tools shows up so click the check mark which I already have it selected and then hit the X and you'll get over here PDT precision drawing tools if you select that you'll get a whole bunch of menus now I'm not talking about everything that's in here all right we'll talk about these at another time I just want to show you one part of the tool that is extremely powerful. Now, since we're working at a top-down view, okay, you want to make sure that the working plane for design operations, you want to basically, you'll get it like this, go to design operations, working plane is top-down XY, all right, top-down, top XY. For selection operations, you want to make sure that by default it's going to be on move cursor you're going to want to extrude vertex okay now select select a vertice <coughs> that you want to create a line from and then just using this top panel right here <coughs> let's say i want a, a line coming off of this vertice down here. I want it to go 45 degree angle this way and I want it to go 10 meters, all right? So I'm gonna make this angle 45 and my distance, I'm gonna say, what did I say, 10 meters? 10 meters, hit enter, then 
press the direction button. That creates a new vertice, 45 degree angle, 10 meters long. Okay? Now, let's say I want to go back this direction, 45. All right? Now, direction is based off of your point, and east is 0, north is 90, west is 180, south is 270. Okay, those are the angles you use for a reference. So, using this, I want to go this way 45 so it's a 90 plus 45 which gives us 135 so I'm going to type in 135 here and um, let's say it's 20 meters hit enter there and then hit the direction so now we have a 45 degree angle going this way okay now you can use 0 to 360 if you wanted to all right so let's say from this point I want to go south all right I can go 270 and I can go 10 meters and then hit direction that didn't work oh I did 180 I didn't type in 270 my bad so I'm gonna control Z that control Z that select that node make this 270 oh how come that doesn't work ah I, I didn't know that I used I didn't I didn't know this okay so it's two halves so let me explain again I use negatives all the time anyway so I was hoping that we can get by that all right so from from let's say from this point right here this way is zero north is 90 west is 180 above this line if I wanted to go this way I would go negative so this would be a negative 45 this would be a negative 90 and this would be either 180 or negative 180 it's and I think it will keep it 180 so let's say we want to go this way that's going to be we want to go to the southwest so that is going to be a negative 130 okay so let's come over here type in negative 135 and let's go 20 meters hit enter and click our direction so this is negative 130 if I wanted to go straight south I'm gonna go negative 90 and we're gonna go short distance of 5 meters and hit direction and it goes south alright so you can't use anything above 180 so you're going to be either positive going in the northernish direction and you're going to use negative going in the southern direction okay so that is using the precise drawing tools to do polar type of activities to create lines all right for two-dimensional drawings okay and then obviously all right so let's select these last two and let's go ahead and hit F and close that so now we have a polygon we got a polygon here and we have a polygon here all right now let's remove these nodes vertices whatever so we're right here <clears throat> now I'm going to show you another way uh, I did a video a while back that showed you how to take two edges and create an intersection at those two edges right I'm going to show you an easier way to do that so using the same kind of tools we did to create our little shape here we're going to use those tool except when I draw this line remember from here down it was negative 135 at a certain angle right but where those two 
uh, lot where this edge and our new edge intersect, I want it to automatically put a vertice there, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to turn on, I hope this works, <laughs> you're going to turn on the merge tool up here and in your options make sure that split edges and faces is turned on. You know, that didn't work the last time I did it because I already had this line. So let's try this. So if I select that vertice and I do my negative 135, I don't think this is going to work in this mode, in this precision drawing tool. And let's go 20 meters and click it does not automatically put an intersection there okay however if I control Z if I don't use the precision tools and I select this line here okay and I do an E and I extrude that past and then click since I have the merge tool on and split edges and faces turned on it automatically puts a vertice there okay so here's a workaround if you want to create if you want to create a vertice between these two points you have to do this two in two steps okay so let's control Z to undo that and we want it to be precise at 135 right so I'm going to come over here to this tool Keep that at negative 135 at 20 meters and then hit direction. Now I have my now I have my line, but I don't have the intersection, right? Okay, one way to get that is use the precision tool to create that line so you have two vertices. Then you're gonna make sure that vertice snapping is turned on. And you're going to do it again except the second way I mean that eat the the floating way so you're going to select this vertice you're going to make sure that merge tools on and you're going to extrude it again except you're going to snap to this and then it puts it on there all right now we have two we have two edges on top of each other so we'll have to clean that up right okay so we're going to zoom in. I'm going to go to edge select and I'm going to I'm going to click until I get a solid line that goes from here all the way to the end, not our split one, and I'm going to delete it. Delete edge. Now that first one is gone. That one that we use the precise measurement is on is gone now. I mean, yeah. It was kind of like a construction line. Okay, then we used the free movement extrude of that vertice and allowed it to create the intersection with our merge tool on, right? Okay, now sometimes when lines are on top of each other, it's hard to select and get it to select the correct one. So what I would have done was I would have created a new object for construction lines then did my precise one in a construction line go back to the original object that we wanted to have the intersection created and you with the vertice snap on you would have snapped to the vertice of a different object so when you're select then selecting the edges would have been totally separate okay uh, I don't think that made sense so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you okay so let's undo all this let's control Z let me select that make sure that's right select that 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 there we go all right, so this is gone, right? So I want to create a construction construction object, right? So I select this vertice that I have, 
and I hit a con I hit shift D to copy it and then I hit P to create an oops hit escape so I don't move it hit P to create a new selection so now I have vertice number two okay and they're in the exact same spot I get out of edit mode I come to vertice two and I go into edit mode I select that vertice okay then I use my precise measurements here which I already have set up so I'll click direction and create my construction line get out of edit mode these are two different objects now but one I'm only using for a construction line okay so I'm going to go back into our original object okay go into edit mode now I can't select this line I just drew because it's in the background it's a separate object but I can still use it for snapping if I turn snap on let's just show you with the distance tool I can still snap to that node right even though I'm editing a different object all right so let's uh, go back into select mode so this line is a separate object I can't select it but I can select this sorry I can't select that edge but I can select this edge because that's the object I'm working on so this is a construction line on a totally different object but my snap will snap to any object with me so far all right so we're back into our original object we got our construction line in another object now I want to create from this node this vertice here I want to recreate this line but I want it to split it so we hit make sure our merge tools on make sure that split edges and faces on and I hit E I got my snap tool on come down here it will snap to our construction line click my mouse and now I have an intersection in our original object all right now I want to get rid of the full line which was vertice 2 right so I get out of edit mode select vertice 2 which is our construction line and then I can either just turn it off or I can select and delete it and it's not there anymore so if I turn off vertice 1 you can see our construction lines gone so two different ways to create a precision line and then create an intersection okay now the other way would be the other way to do that would have been to create our precision line in the same original object that we we're working on then use the technique that I used in the previous video to select this this edge and this edge and have it create an intersection Does that make sense I know it's two different weird things all right okay so now we are in our original object I can go into edit mode uh, I don't need this overrunning line so I just delete that vertice and now I have this as a let's say a room of the building okay so we're working in two dimensions but once you get your two-dimensional drawing done then you can go in and start doing your 3d work all right let's say that uh, first this line that's coming out all by itself we don't need it so we'll go into edit mode let's turn off our scale key select this vertice delete that vertice which will get rid of the edge that's connected to it okay now with edge tool turned on I can select uh, I can select these edges this and then I can hit F to create that polygon then I can select these edges hit F create that polygon so now I have two polygons all right within the same shape so I have a room here and I have a room here then I can do my 
uh, regular three-dimensional stuff. Let me see the face orientation is good. Everything's blue. Okay. And then I can go to face select. I can select all my faces, extrude those uh, uh, five meters. Okay. Let's say that this one was another five meters tall. Hit extrude, extrude, hit five. Then I can start. Once I have my two-dimensional planning uh, done, then I can go and start doing my 3D. All right. So this video is to show you some tools that you can use for doing your two-dimensional design of your object and use precision measurement and angles for your drafting, so to speak. Okay. Now I didn't get into all the other tools with the precision design toolbox. Uh, I'll do some of those later on. There's a lot more uh, tools that you can use uh, to do arcs and stuff. Uh, we'll talk about those at another time. So for free resources, you have two tools, the extra objects tool, so you can work with vertices and create two-dimensional line drawings. And then you can use precision drawing tools add-on, both free that come with Blender to do more precise angles and things in your drafting. All right. I hope this video helped and we will see you on the next one. See you guys later.